What you both say is most interesting, particularly to me, because some 15 years or so ago, the government introduced changes to um, complaints uh, systems at local level. They abolished the community health councils, and I was one of those who had a suspicion that this was a deliberate attempt by government to weaken complaint handling at local level. I don't know if you feel the same. Um, because uh, And the suspicion was supported by the fact that at that time the government was trying to encourage private companies to come in and provide health services and the private companies didn't want strong complaints procedures which might make life more difficult for them. Um, do you feel that the government is still reluctant to, to um, introduce strong complaints systems at local level? I don't think that's my experience. I think as Rob We saw the case of the Midstaffs Hospital, an absolutely appalling scandal of some t decade or so ago, um, which might not have happened had there been strong local, relatively independent uh, complaints handling, which would have rung alarm bells at the time. Do you agree with that? We, we know that there have been improvements made mm. uh, in Midstaffs and elsewhere, but my judgment is that the momentum for a more effective and uh, incisive complaints handling service across the NHS has fizzled out and we have to re-ignite uh, that. The local community health councils were rather not, not strong but they were, they were even then they were seen as an irritant to the local health authorities, health trusts and I know that they had a member always on the local board of the trust, and there was always tension between the chair of the trust in my local area and the, 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 the head of the local community health council. Um, they didn't like being criticised by this semi-independent, relatively independent body. 